Hello. Today we're going to talk about public goods. Specifically, we're going to carry on from the last video where we talked about marginal social benefit equaling marginal social cost, and instead take a look at a social profit function. So what we're doing here is we're trying to maximize social profits and then compare to what will happen privately when we maximize private profits. In this case, we're given a $200 per day entry fee, which we'll write here. So there's $200 to enter. We also have a quantity equation of t equals 20x minus x squared. So the number of truffles that are hunted in this society is equal to 20 times the number of people that are hunting minus the number of people hunting squared. That's what this x number represents, is the number of people. And then we also know that truffles can be sold for $100 each. So that's our price on the market. To start, let's find our socially optimal amount of people hunting. So what we're going to do is find social profits. So social total profit. And we'll use this equation to figure out how many people will be hunting at the social optimal level. So our social profit is going to be equal to the price that we can sell our truffles at times the amount of truffles that are hunted minus the cost to society for hunting truffles. So our social profit is going to be equal to 100 for our price here times our quantity equation of 20x minus x squared, and then minus our cost equation of 200 times x. That will be our social profit. From there, we can expand this out a bit and say that 2,000x minus 100x squared minus 200x will be our social profit. And we can combine like terms again to say 1800x minus 100x squared is our social profit. From there, if we're trying to maximize our social profit, we should take the derivative of our social profit with respect to x. This leaves us with 1800 minus 200x. And to maximize, we should set this equal to zero. So we're left with 1800 equals 200x. So the socially optimal number of people hunting truffles would be nine. Let's compare this to how many people will actually go out and hunt. So the number of people actually going out and hunting, we can also find through a profit function. This will be private total profit. This will be our private total profit. Let me rewrite that real quick. Okay, private total profit. And we're going to say profit privately is equal to P, again, our market price for truffles, times the amount of truffles being hunted, which we found to be 20x minus x squared. And we're going to divide this by the number of people because we're finding a private profit, which means a per person profit. We're also going to subtract our cost per person, which is just going to be this 200 number. So again, we're going to divide by the number of people. So these X's will cancel out and we're just left with one entry fee of 200 or a per person fee. So our private profit is then equal to P, or 100 in this case, times 20 divided, 20x divided by x, which is just 20, and x squared divided by x, which is just x. So 100 times 20 minus x, and then minus 200. So our private profit is equal to 2,000 minus 100x minus 200. 
private profit then is equal to 1800 minus 100 X. And we're gonna set this equal to zero because private profit will be driven down to zero when everybody over hunts these truffles. From there, we're left with 1800 equals 100 X. So when everybody maximizes their private profit, 18 people will go hunting truffles instead of the socially optimal number of nine. So I'll say our private profit number is 18. Our socially optimal number is nine. So there's nine more people hunting than is socially optimal, which would be option C.